So you came all the way from Gurney, Illinois? I did. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Likewise, likewise. So what is Acon Semiconductor? So we're the global leader in diamond semiconductor technology, and we specialize in power electronics, uh, particularly for the automotive, aerospace, satellite, telecom markets, and consumer electronics. Okay, you got my attention with diamonds. <laughs> So tell me all about them. So what is diamond technology? So diamond's actually um, used for a variety of materials. Uh, often people think gem, you think diamond. Yeah. But it's actually a very good material um, for other things like semiconductor or for industrial application. Um, diamond's actually very, very heat efficient. So compared to a material like copper, it can wick away heat five times faster. Um, compared to the electronics material like silicon, about 22 times faster. Um, so that's important because as you know, our electronics get smaller and smaller, heat's a major issue. Um, I know um, when I'm on my phone, even for a few minutes, it starts to get very, very hot. Or when I'm on my tablet, yeah. it gets very, very hot. Um, so that's because not because the technology is poor, it's because the heat's the major, major issue um, within the in, uh, incumbent electronic material, silicon. So, so you're saying it won't get as hot, like your phone won't get as hot if it was made of diamonds? Well, not only that, we're actually able to integrate the diamond directly onto the silicon and make the existing technology more heat efficient, while we're also making the next generation of technology based on this diamond material, which can be thousands of times thinner um, and be you know, millions, uh, millions of times more powerful in terms of uh, performance. I knew I liked diamonds. <laughs> what are you the most excited about? I'm most excited about uh, our transparent electronics technology. So diamond, as you know, is a very uh, lusterful material. It catches the light very nicely. That's because in uh, normal uh, wavelengths, it's completely transparent. Why that's cool for electronics is for the first time, we're actually able to now make electronics that are completely transparent. What about the battery? Can the battery be made of diamonds? So the battery itself could not, but we're actually able to integrate diamond within the battery to make it more heat efficient for things like automotive and for aerospace. How far down the road do you think it'll be when we have like clear everything? I'm thinking over the next three to five years, um, this is going to start to become more prevalent in consumer uh, spaces like tablets and wearable. Do you think that's going to bring down the price of diamonds? Uh, we certainly hope so. Um, we feel that the diamond price is artificially high. Um, diamond can actually be grown utilizing nothing more than methane gas, one of the most abundant molecules in the universe. Wait, what? You, yeah. can, you can grow diamonds? We absolutely can and we absolutely do, yeah. Wait, could I like grow diamonds in my garden? <laughs> in your garage, actually, yeah. In my garage? <laughs> yeah. I could just grow diamonds? Absolutely. Are you kidding me? I kid you not. How am I just finding this out? <laughs> oh, we've been around for a few years. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, tell me how this works exactly. Okay, so uh, we're partnered with Argonne National Laboratory. Um, they're a uh, Department of Energy Research Lab in Northern Illinois. And so uh, at their facilities, we pioneered all of our uh, research and development. And they have essentially a very large microwave reactor, similar to what you'd have in your home. It's just a lot more powerful, and the geometry is a bit different. So using that, we pump methane gas and hydrogen gas, and we crack it in this microwave reactor, and we're able to form you know, very, very thin layers of diamond, or even what you'd see in the gem grade uh, space. So you're telling me that I can grow diamonds in a microwave? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> now tell me a little more about, you know, transportation, diamonds involved with transportation. We're utilizing diamond both in the electronics in the vehicle, um, so for like the inverter, um, the controller, those type of things, and also as I mentioned directly in the battery as a heat and efficient uh, material. So what that means is that, you know, for the existing battery technology, you could have uh, it charge 10 times faster, it lasts 10 times longer, only because the diamond's able to mitigate the heat and allow it to, uh, the electronic properties to come out. Um, what's cool on the electronics side though, uh, we're actually able to make those same systems about a third time smaller. So downstream, you know, uh, making electric vehicles not only more cost effective, but also more high performance. Do you travel with diamonds all the time? I do, yes. Yeah. And surprisingly, I've never been stopped. I mean, how would you explain that? <laughs> so this is glass, is probably what I would say. <laughs> will you show me some diamonds? I will show you several diamonds. I mean, twist my arm. <laughs> Let's go look at diamonds. So we have ice here. Okay. And uh, we like to show, utilizing just the heat from your hand, uh, how efficient copper is at cutting ice, and then utilizing just the heat of your hand, diamond. Just dig into the piece of ice, and like you're cutting it. Like I'm cutting it? Yeah, just really quickly. So you feel it works through. So this is what we call the diamond penny. Um, it's about the same size, a little bit thinner, um, but all polycrystalline diamond. Okay. And so just going up and down like that. Not diamond twisting. penny. <laughs> Try it the same way. Oh, wow. So it should feel like a hot knife. Yeah, just it is. It's through. just going straight through it. So oh, that's, that's a very crazy. 
So that's a very demonstrative example. It's stuck of, in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Adam Kahn of Akon Semiconductor. Shine bright like a diamond. Do you know the Kanye? Isn't the Kanye part after no, he, that? No, it comes first. Oh, you go first, and then I'll say shine bright. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the line for it. Shine, shine bright, bright like, like a, a diamond. diamond. High five. Nice. <laughs>